What's up, everybody? It's Chrissy D here with Yanni P. We are the History Hyenas. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode. Of course, we have Zach Isis Face, fresh out of the Caliphate, doing his thing. Uh, White Wasp, Bardo Church, could not make it today because, um, you know. They don't even care if he's here. Yeah. He's just a background player. Yeah, he doesn't even talk. He's here. Yeah, he's just he's just someone that we yeah. l- con- we just look over at. Yeah, he's, yeah. The, the, well, you could have said Bardo Church is here. And no, they would have care. never even known if he was well, here. Well, no, don't. The, oh, yeah. There's no camera on where he would. He's no, always sits like yeah. back in the corner anyway, like with a you know smoking a pipe. Yeah, he's built like Kevin McHale too. I don't even know if he can fit in these tiny yeah, little cameras. He's still, he still has his rat tail. Um, we're here in the studio, Ridecast Studios. We got the picture. Uh, Zach found another disgusting, nauseating, terrifying picture of a hyena attempting to smile, um, but it's just got its tongue open and its fang fucking. The most disgusting part of this hyena's mouth and all hyena's mouths is the fact that they have fang teeth on the side and then little baby infant teeth in the front. And their tongue, this is the first picture, though, you've pulled out, Zach, where the the hyena's tongue is not actually jet black (laughs) from licking the assholes of a dying animal. Not a This has got a clean red tongue, Yeah, which is, you know, at least we have that. This This hyena looks like he's a Kiss fan. And now we have hyena's... Giannis found an article yesterday. Was it the New York Post? New York Post. They must be listening to our podcast. The New York Post now all of a sudden wrote an article about the complexity and mystery of the hyena as an animal and mentioned its pseudo penis and mentioned all things that we've spoken about. So what we need you guys to do, our loyal, loyal fans and loyal, loyal pseudo penises <laughs> and everyone who comes and is part of the matriarch, because you make no mistake, you guys are part of the matriarch. If you're fucking with us, you are part of the matriarch and you're part of our tribe. You need to make sure when you hear hyenas and when you start to hear it go into mainstream because it's happening, tell them where you found it first. Yeah. And it's right here where the Bay Ridge Boys presents History Hyenas. So just make sure that you tell them that you f- we found it first. Okay? We've been talking about, you know, who was talking about hyenas the way we've been talking about hyenas before we started talking about hyenas? No, it, you have to be neighbor. You didn't even know they had a pseudo penis. I had no idea. I'm talking about the people at home. And, oh, yeah. And yeah, me and you, we didn't even no, know. No, well, you knew. You, I knew. You you were the first to, I, I would say you started talking about hyenas a couple of years ago. You want to know why? Why? Because I'm the OG original True blue gay. True blue gay. Original. I'm the yeah. original OG. Yo, you're the original. You're the original OG. But I want to be the fucking original trans. I uh-huh. want to be. I want to. I know you had Marisa, and that's great. But I want to take it all the way. And I want. I really want to look down one day. I want to look down. I want to fucking be looking into a big dude's eyes, <laughs> rubbing Vaseline in my post-op vagina, ready to take a dick right into the fucking liver, or whatever they do. I don't want to. Ha- because I want my testicles to be my nipples. That's what I want to happen at some point. And you know what you know what yeah. I want to do? Yeah. You know what I want to do? What? I want to buy myself a nice little 38 six shooter. Okay? Right? Yeah. I want to point it to the back of your head. Yeah. Not going to shoot you. Yeah. No, we're going to take a walk. Right. Me and you we're going to take a walk. Yeah. I'm going to walk you all the way up into the forest out in upstate New York, right? Yeah. And you go, cuz, what are we doing? I'm going to go keep walking. I'm doing this for the betterment of the yeah. world. Because I'm going to be looking around like, oh, look, there's mud, and there's, yeah. there's dark out, and there's ghosts, and look, there's a canary. Yeah, and where can I get my estrogen shots? Things yeah, like and that. And I'm like, yo, I want a muffin toasted with butter. Yeah, you want muffins, you want smoothies, you want puss, but you also want to put Vaseline in your own puss. You have no rules. Yeah. You represent, you, because when it comes to who's the bigger hyena, me or you, yeah. there's no question. That our matriarch of fans know, yeah, that you are the true blue, yeah, hyena, yeah. You have no, you are, you, you represent chaos in humanity. It's so funny that you're saying that, and it is true. But if you had a visual of Giannis right now, first of all, he's got Princess Leia headphones on. <laughs> Second of all, he's got the microphone out of this, out of the, uh, the stand, which nobody ever does, and he's got a pimple the size of fucking <laughs> Africa on his forehead with his cut glasses. With his fucking hair that looks good with hairspray. That it looks good. Telling gone. me that I'm wild when he's fucking... Like, when yeah. we were driving in my car, 
And uh, you said if we got pulled over, nobody would, the cops would never know that I was the guy who had a woman's wig and a purse in my in my trunk. Yeah, yeah. I don't f- look like that guy. I look wild. You're a fucking wild kid. So yeah, okay. So here's Giannis. Giannis and I had a great weekend. Um, we went to Valley Forge. Yeah. Um, which is you know a city like about thirty miles outside of Pennsylvania, uh, Philadelphia. Um, and it's it's famous because it was the third encampment of the Revolutionary War. So you know. Basically, the rules in the war were, back in the days, you wouldn't fight in winter. War had rules back in the day. Now there's no rules. Now people are fucking chemical attacking women and children. It's brutal. And it's disgusting. There were rules. Like, if a, if an invading army, like when Britain invaded us, they wouldn't kill women and children on the way. They were fighting soldiers. I mean, maybe they did, but it, it, would, it would be frowned upon. When we go to war now or we launch a... Uh, military military operation, yeah, which is the executive branch's way of circumventing the Constitution because you're you're supposed to declare war through Congress. Right. Congress is supposed to approve a declaration of war, but now President just you know executive order. Hey, we're just do- they don't call it a war. There's right. no de- it's like we're just doing a military operation. But nowadays, yeah, you you don't risk losing that many soldiers because all you do is just launch smart bombs. It's disgusting. Whoever has the higher technology is going to win a war. But yeah. back then if you wanted to wage a war, yeah. it was much more well thought out or right. quote unquote military operation because you knew you were going to lose guys. Exactly. Now we how many we don't lose that many. This piece if you guys showing the camera and at home there's a piece on the table. It looks like a bullet. It's probably a screw to something, but it looks like a bullet and I wish I wish I could press a button and turn this into a bullet. And then put it in a gun and shoot you right between the eyes. <laughs> That's what I wish I could do right now. And then open up. I would have. I would take one of Zach's knives that was blessed by fucking by the Quran. I would want want to take one of his knives that he keeps in his fucking you know in his just in his sock. In his, yeah, in one of whatever the fucking you know Alatola fucking. What's the what do they call him the high priest? Uh, Ayatollah. Yeah, whatever Sheiks. the Ayatollah bless. Sheiks. Sheiks. I would love. I would cut open your head. That's mm-hmm. what I would do, and I would take out your brain, mm-hmm. and then it would be confirmed that you have a female brain, <laughs> that you are operating in a man's body with what is exactly fe- female brain. I would look for the chip because I know you have a chip somewhere in there because yeah. you're not from this planet. Yeah. And what I would do to save humankind so yeah. that you don't reproduce is I would burn your brain <laughs> and then send the ashes into outer space. <laughs> I would. <laughs> I would get every piece of your female mammalian brain out of the fucking confines of this great planet Earth. You know what I you so I didn't you didn't even let me finish the story. How what? I would walk you deep up to Poughkeepsie. We'd walk the whole way to Yeah, Poughkeepsie. Because I know you're a mouth breather and the, the walk's gonna be a little harder for you. Oh yeah, hell yeah. I'd make sure there were stairs too, because you're carrying about forty pounds more than I am. Yeah. And every time we walk upstairs, you start mouth breathing. Yeah. So I'd make sure you walk upstairs wherever we go, walk up big hills. That I'd march you up the hill yep. with a six shot thirty eight to the back of your fucking head. Yeah, pressed, you, no no room for error. Pressed against the back pressed of my against skull. your head while you were just going kaya kaya, <laughs> and I would just keep going, keep walking, keep walking. Yeah, and you yeah, go, yeah. cuz, what are we doing? Yeah, we're fucking, are we doing a show out here? Fucking wild. Are yeah, you fuck, are we gay bad right now? Yeah, you're just fucking like a, a wild robot, just fucking going, saying things that don't make sense all the time. Yeah, you want to bang f- trannies, you want to be trans, puss yeah. puss, you yeah. want sweet. I need black and whites, and I just got to press the back of your head till I march you up to the fucking top of one of the highest mountain tops in Poughkeepsie. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then there's going to be a shovel waiting there because I drove there a week before yeah. and I put a shovel there. Be prepared. Yeah. And I'm going to say, see that shovel? Yeah. Start digging. And yeah. you're going, what are we doing? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And then you fucking dig away until I make you dig a six foot, between six foot and six foot one because we don't even know. You're so fucking wild, I can't even pin down your height because. Wow. You look like you're taller than you are. Yep. So I'm going to say, dig a six foot fucking grave. Yep. And then I'm going to make you stand at the edge of it after you're sweating, after you dug the grave. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you say, Kyo, one more time. Yeah. Kyo. And then I'm going to squeeze the trigger and a yep. bullet into the back of your head until you fall straight into it to the hole that you dug. Yeah. And listen, the world's not going to be a better place. But like I said, there will be more order once again. Yeah. Once again, there will be more law and order. Because, yeah, first of all, you could tell me that plan, like you've said it, you've told it to a lot of people listening, and 
you would actually start to execute it, and I still wouldn't know it was happening. No, you wouldn't. I would have just forgotten about this because every every day my brain just starts over. You'd be like, "Yo, cool." Oh, I just tell you we were marching to a to a history tour. I'd That's be like, it. "Yo, there was a battle up here." You would you would you know? Yeah, I'd just fucking run around up there. You throw on some fucking rack Nikes and yeah. some shorts with those pale thighs. Yeah, and get uh, up there. I well, hair hairless pale thighs. I have yeah. no hair on my body yeah. at all. You're, Is that a problem? You have brisk. You have startlingly startlingly white. Yeah, it dies. Like, it's blinding. So why does my face... Because my face isn't that white. Why does my face look... Di- I Do you think for sure the simulators put the wrong head on the wrong body? I think so. Yeah. I think that's what happened. Yeah. Because your head looks like it should be on a WWE wrestler's head. Yeah. And then your body yeah. looks like somebody's aunt. Yeah. My body... Literally, my body looks like I should be serving Sloppy Joes at a Catholic school cafeteria. Yeah. My, my body looks like... It, 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 my body looks like it belongs to a person named Marge. Your body looks like it belongs to two different people. Yeah. Right side and left side. Yeah. yeah. I got good shoulders, though, no? You do got good shoulders. I think that's what holds the whole thing yeah. up. Yeah. That's what holds all the, the, the slop up. I got good shoulders. <laughs> we worked out together bad. Yeah, we today. fucking lift. I should be able to lift more, but I did good. You did pretty good. No, you're strong. You're I'm naturally strong, strong but you, yeah. Yeah, I should. You, I just should be in a better class. You just can't. You don't have the attention span to, to work out for too long. I saw no. it. I mean, you were doing four do or five exercises at the time. I got to do a class. You gotta do. I gotta do a class. You gotta do spin. Yeah, I, I fucking love spin. You'd be comfortable in there with all the puss puss. Yeah. Co- See, the thing is with me, I'm never really uncomfortable. Yeah. Like you know, and that's a problem because I think sometimes, except to my get ahead in life, party. you have to be uncomfortable. In ca- in my engagement party, you felt like you were gonna pass out. I felt like you? I was gonna pass out. Why was that? Because I have anxiety and I get socially awkward because I. Wa- okay, so first of all, it was Giannis's uh, and and his and his fiance's engagement party. We can't say her name. I don't want to say her name on the podcast. You know? no, yeah, no. Yanni, Yanni P and B. It was their yeah. engagement party, and um, beautiful home, great. And Yanni was when I arrived there after sitting in two hours of traffic. Yanni was out getting cigars, so I had to walk into this house <laughs> when I re- I actually knew no one. Mm-hmm. Walk into the middle of the house and start introducing myself. Wow, um, she didn't she didn't catch no, you at the door. Caught me at the door, said hello, but you know it's party. Yeah. She had to do a lot of other things, which yeah. is like you know I get it. She had she. She would. She stayed with me. She's like, wait, let me introduce you to people. And then I was the one who was like, you had a wall of donuts. So I just, I, I looked at the wall of donuts. I started to calm down a little bit. <laughs> I started to calm down. And then B knew. She's like, I can leave him here in the dessert room and yeah. he'll be fine. Yeah. And then, and then you weren't texting back. And then what happened was a couple of people. He said my brain works. A couple of people were saying that you hadn't texted them back and you were gone for a little too long. So I was like, oh, he got killed in a crash. That's what I thought happened. And the pictures, so they had pictures of Giannis <laughs> and his fiance all over, like couple pictures, which is like nice. The, the family went above and beyond. It was beautiful. But it kind of, you got the feeling like that it was like, is this a wedding or is this like, is this a, a memorial to a couple that, you know, got killed in a safari or something like that? Like, <laughs> were they eaten by a fucking wild alligator? Or heli- like, helicopter crash. Helicopter crash. crash. They died tragically some way. Yeah, like there was a, pictures of us. There in was an too many pictures of it us. It was a lot. It there was, was a lot. pictures in every room of us. Every room, there was two pics. And then I noticed a couple of those pics are in your apartment today. Yeah. Yeah. We took a couple back. You know, that's you know now that we're getting engaged, she's going to start, like, you know, redoing my fucking perfect interior design. Perfect. I mean, my apartment is perfectly interior design. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, seriously, if I wasn't a comedian, do you think that that's one of my better talents? Yeah, I, I have Crystal in there. I do. I think everything matches, Chris. I think what your best talent, yeah, what your truly best talent is, like I say, mine is parallel parking. <laughs> what your truly best talent is, <laughs> is convincing the entire world that the way you were just talking is not the actual way you really talk. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm because s- this is you. Yeah, but the what you appear as Giannis, like I've said a, a lot of times. Yeah. It's it's I've never seen I've never seen a better acting job than what you do right when what you do every day because you could just see how comfortable I am. Well, here. when I met your family, I could tell you there's could tell. a few. <laughs> My brother's the triple gay. Yo, your brother. Oh, yes. and where you said me and him are not that far apart. And you know what's interesting? It's so comfortable and freeing to talk like this. Giannis Giannis has an openly gay brother. Yeah, an OGB, and. <laughs> He, Do you just come up with the acronyms right when you say the words? Yeah. Your brain is quick like that. I have a quick brain. Yeah. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I eat fucking quinoa. History hyenas. So Giannis' brother is a TBG. And like for real though. Like a for real TBG. Like no, he's he's an NDG. No doubt gay. He's an OG. No doubt gay. And he's a TSG. 
top shelf gay. Top shelf gay. Yeah, he's a big time gay. Yeah. He's a BTG big he's time an, gay. He's an A-list gay. He's an A-list gay. Like, like I mean, he's fucking like Anderson Cooper gay. Yeah, when you know you, what I mean? When you tried to talk to him, he thought that maybe yeah. you were a last minute uh, phone call yeah. right before the party started because the air conditioner broke. Yeah, he, exactly. <laughs> he he yeah. thought you were lost in the living room trying to find the front door. Yeah, he didn't know, because, he, he, yeah. you know, he was wearing this beautiful suit and, you know, whatever, I'm sure Italian, whatever, and I came in with uh, a sweater with my sleeves rolled up from Old Navy, pants that I got at Foot Locker and brown shoes. Were those from Foot Locker? Those are Foot Locker I pants. If I had known that, I would have kicked you right out the fucking yeah. house. You can't do that around but me, you, But Don't th bring that around my fucking family, Foot Locker pants. But did I not look good? You did look good, but if I would have known they were Foot Locker Cause. pants made in Bangladesh, I would have fucking kicked you right out the door, cuz. That's disrespectful. Not that, yeah, okay, but the thing is not that many. Who comes, who is a successful comedian as you are? You're a successful comedian, let's okay. be honest. Let's be honest. Why are you buying fucking... This is why you need to be walked up to fucking Poughkeepsie <laughs> and dug, made to dig your own hole and shot into it. Why are you buying pants at fucking Foot Locker? Because because not many places have thirty eight waist that fit good like That's that. That's the problem. That's See, what it I'm is. Getting, I'm getting hard on you, and yeah. there's a good reason. If it was a thirty four, I'd give, I'd fucking be a banana republic. Because you're gonna you're gonna blow out fucking. Yeah. Bad. You better enjoy these couple. You better hope this radio show takes off. Yeah. Because fucking once you blow out, we be I better hope this skit works. Yeah. You better hope this fucking <laughs> skit works, cause yeah. Because when you start turning 38, 39... It's going to go away. I mean, like the Hulk. You know how the Hulk breaks through his pants? Yeah. That's how your fat fucking Fuck. hips are going to yeah. break right through your goddamn $10 Foot Locker pants. Yeah, my fucking Nicki Minaj pants. Which, by the way, you can see episode five of us talking about my fat fucking ass on Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. That's right. When does this go up? Uh, Actually, no. By now, we would have released it. Yeah, we would have released public. it. Yeah, you... The past episode of History Hanging? No, 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 this, this one. one. No, the next out. Bay Ridge Boys web, web series. The next episode is out right now on our Patreon page. But this is going to air past when we... It's going to air on Sunday. Yeah, this is airing Sunday. Usually they go up on Patreon on Thursday. Oh, so, so if you're a Patreon member, you're listening to this right now. First of all, from Zach Isis, meaning hello, how are you? Hello. Holiness be upon to you, right? Allah. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Also, uh, I hope you enjoyed um, episode five of Bay Ridge Boys. Uh, you probably watched it before you listened to this. So if not, um, it's for free. It, this is The rest of you hearing this on Sunday... Just go uh, go look. Um, the newest episode is out. Go to our Facebook group, Bay Ridge Boys. Go yeah. to Chrissy's Twitter, his Instagram. Absolutely. You can also see Chris do karaoke. Guy went fucking wild in Valley yeah. Forge. He sang Whitney Houston. I sang Whit Whitney Houston, How Will I Know? And I fucking I really felt good about my performance. And I really felt good. I remember I, I got back to my room. I got naked. And I rubbed lotion all over my body. It was. <laughs> your performance was... It, it probably could scare children. If yeah. children were allow, out, allowed to be in the bar, yeah, it would scare children. So you think it was stone cold trash? It was stone cold, yeah. uh, nauseating trash. Yeah, I mean, you have zero talent for singing or dancing. Yeah, it, you look like a lumbering, uh, fucking yeah, like. I but yo, know. but a video like that could still get. You think I could get me pushed though? For sure, because yeah. it shows that you don't care and you're fun and Fearless. you're having a great time. Yeah. yeah, you were just having a time. I mean, you're not fearless, cuz. Let's stop with this. You keep right. saying you're fearless, that you have no fucking fear. You almost passed out walking into your, the house. True. Right? You uh, True. you won't go into hotel rooms alone because you feel like spirits are going to grab you. Yep. We're not going to say you're fearless. And I open up. You're I'll, a big puss puss. You're a, you're a puss puss puss. A triple P. A triple P. I see. I just came up with an acronym. You're a fucking triple puss. I open up all the doors when I ever go into a hotel. Or even when I go home, I open up all the doors in the shower curtain just to make sure nobody's lurking. I'm yeah. always looking for a lurker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you can never live in a house because you're scared of all it. the rooms. I won't do the basement. What did I know you do at your mom's is. house? Huh? What did you do when you were growing up in your mom's house? If it was like if if it, if it was dark out, yeah, I would. I lived on the uh, one floor up. I would sprint up the stairs, yeah. and the whole time I would think ghosts are grabbing my ankles. I would sprint up the stairs. Sometimes I go two steps at a time, fucking fall down, skin my knees. Yeah, and then I just run into the house. I'd yell, "Mom!" Yeah. And then she'd be like, "Yes, I'm right here, honey." And I just run. I sit down next to her, and I'd be like, "Oh, I would always, I would always have some excuse, be like, oh, sorry, I sorry, you know, I fucking, I'm hungry, or I got to use the bathroom, or something like that." But it was really, I was just scared. I needed to see my mom and be in a, in a well lit room with her. Um, and then I would calm down a little bit. And then once she was home, I turn on all the lights, and I turn on every light. My room, her room, bathroom, hallway, kitchen, all the lights would always be on. She just had to deal with that. And then I just fucking, you know, I'd hang out, play video games, you know, whatever, just think about shit. And then you turned 18 the next week. Then I turned 18 the next week. I slept in my mother's bed until I was about 13 years old. Until about 13. Yeah, I had pubes. And I'm still sleeping in my mother's bed. You were sleeping in my mother's bed. Absolutely. Because you were scared. I was scared, yeah. She should have kicked you out. She should have. She should have kicked you yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. When you try to keep crawling in, she just, uh, you know. 
Yeah, I mean, cause you know, I mean, yeah. I fucking, I'm a, I'm a rare breed, as you, you are, said, you I'm a are, rare breed. You are a fucking rare breed. And you were sitting, in, you was, you went, we were in, the, we were at uh, King of Prussia Casino. Is that yeah. what it's called, King of Prussia? Uh, it was called Valley no, Force Valley Casino Force. in King of Prussia. In King of Prussia. Yeah, which is a fucking supreme shit hall. Yeah, and we were in a dive bar. <laughs> Dive bar with karaoke, and Chrissy D fucking chose Whitney Houston and went wild. Wild. The video's up on his Instagram. A lot of you probably have watched it already. Yeah, it's great. And then uh, Rafael De Luca, De Luca. made a um, another. I guess you call that a meme video. Well, I mean, no, I mean he's making. I mean he's making like um, they're like mixes. They're like yeah. yeah. He's doing. He does. Rafael De Luca does real shit. Yeah, but he uh, he photoshopped our faces into Whitney Houston. It was hilarious. Yeah. And also, I don't know if you listen, but who I forget—I don't even know your name. I think it's—I don't even know your Snapchat name. But the psycho fan, I had an altercation with a uh, interaction with a psycho fan on Snapchat who bought. <laughs> this is funny. Yeah. Who bought? I think it's DJ Fruity Stupid. Can or you something tell us like that? Show us the uh, show us the, the the actual correspondent. This is how I don't think Chris. This guy may kill Chris. Yeah, this guy's probably going to kill me. I hope he doesn't know who I am. This kid. Yeah. I mean, listen so, to this message that Chris got. So he okay. Right. I can find it real quick too because you sent it to me. Wait, this hold is on. crazy. I got it. Okay, you got it. Um, well, yeah. I'm going through all the videos that you, uh, all the pictures you sent me in our text messages. Because I sent and the first one that comes up is uh, somebody getting sexual reassignment surgery. <laughs> 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 all right, yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah. So this kid, his name, I think his name on Twitter is. He is a fucking psycho. This guy. I mean, he seems like a nice kid. I thought he was a nice kid. First of all, we've been corresponding for about two years. We've been corresponding. Why are you talking to these kids? We should. I shouldn't be. You can't tell that this is a psycho. I mean, I don't know. I just felt like he was like a nice guy. I thought he would send me messages on Snapchat, like, and he would send a lot, like thirty messages at a time, and I would just tap him. I never even read him a lot of them. I just, and I think he was saying a lot of things. So it was probably partly my fault. I mean, if someone's sending you thirty messages at a time, even Zach knows. Would you respond to those messages? Uh, if they were down to be recruited, probably. <laughs> if, if they seemed a little out of it, then I guess at air, I guess too because he's the kind of guy who probably sue me. Yeah. Once we release this, we should edit out the name that I just said, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you yeah. didn't want to say Giannis's wife's name earlier, and you said it anyway, so I have to edit that. So out. you edit that out, and you edit what I just because I just spelled out his, his yeah, Snapchat. Yeah, yeah. So edit that part out, but keep this part in of us telling you to edit it out. Yeah. Um, thank you. You're a good kid, Zach. Yeah. So what he's I can read what he wrote. I mean, that's because yeah, yeah. once it's anonymous, it's like you can't fucking. Yeah. So, yeah, so this fucking kid, so he's been sending me messages a lot, like, you know, and I respond, and, like, there was even one time, like, a year ago where I looked back in my Snapchat where he said, he was like, hey, man, like. I want to wear your skin? No, he didn't say that. He was like, he was like, hey, man, is it cool that I, like, Snapchat you so I feel like a dick, like, I send you stuff and, like, you don't write anything back or say anything? I was like, nah, bro, just keep sending it, which. You know, you need to be shot. I was like, just yeah. keep sending it, bro. Just keep sending it. Like, good for you. You just don't believe in consequences in this world. Yeah, I don't know. You just don't think they apply to you. Yeah. And then he says to me, so then it starts. And again, I'm just. Then he gives me his cell phone number last week. He uh, gives me his number. He's like, I want you to fly down to Chicago, and I want to do the music for the Bay Ridge Boys, and I want to do the music for the Australians, and all this shit. And I'm like, okay, dude. Um, and I'm just like, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm like, you know, he gives me his number. I'm like, I'm never gonna text this kid. Like, I don't even know who he is. Like, I'm appreciative of him being a fan of ours and yeah. mine, but I'm like. I don't know who you are, dude. Yeah. And then he sends me a message. And first of all, some of the messages he would send me, like, you know, over the years, like, it'd be a little wild. Like, he would say a racial slur or he'd send me a picture of, like, a guy with a dick. Like, and, it would, and he would be, like, you know, laughing, crying face. And I would just be like, lols. Or, you know, something stupid. Well, I should have just been like, all right, enough with this guy. But I just feel the need to respond to people, yeah. which, is, which is brutal. Yeah. You like to live on the edge a little too. A little bit. So I didn't give him my number, thank God. Yeah. But he gives me his number. I never text him. And then he sends me a Snapchat yesterday. He's like, hey, man, I thought you were going to text me on Friday. You said you would, which I probably did. But yeah. the snaps disappear. <laughs> I was probably like, yeah, dude, let's FaceTime or something wild, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then he go, I, and then he says, you know, so what, you know, can you text me? And, you know, I'm waiting, I'm waiting to do this music drop for you. Like, I just need your approval. I want to do this for you. I want to do that for you. Blah, 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 blah. And I finally just said, I very polite, I said this exactly. I said, hey, buddy, sorry. I said, but I got a lot of things going on right now. Keep doing what you're doing. Stay in touch. But I'm sorry, I just got a lot of stuff going on. Then he writes back, you think I'm a Joe, Chris? I'm a young dude who looks up to you and have a little business. You won't give me the time of day. Then he says, <laughs> "Then he says, I just bought BayRidgeBoys.com. So if you want that website, you're going to have to go through me. It's business, man. You give me the time of day when you need your site. I have your attention now. 
Yeah, that's a true blue psychopath. That would be a tr TB. That's someone TBP, who, right? That's someone who's truly psychotic, right? Yeah. Well, it, somebody's kids got problems, right? Well, yeah. Look, I mean, what do you think, Zach? I we got to we got to go to the expert on that on problems. Yeah. People with I would problems. probably recruit him. You would recruit, you would recruit him. Right? He'd be perfect. He sounds kind of like an evil genius. Yeah, he does, well, yeah, right? Well, because he said this is what happened. So so uh, a month ago. He's he, got your attention now because you're a fucking idiot. He, We're he, talking about him on our podcast. I know. Well, well, well we <laughs> edited his name out, though. I think I know, he was good-hearted. I think Chris was trying to be nice and, you know, contact with him. Yeah, but, but you can't with these fucking psychos. No. You know? Yeah, and then he it's says. like if, if Zach asked me to go get falafels, you think I'm going to fucking respond? I'm gonna, I'll be dead. This would be fucking history hyenas with Chris DeStefano. Your Stephano. fucking head would be in a pita. And yeah. Zach. Yeah. Um, he said, he did say, like, he did say, yo, can I have your email a month ago? And I just gave it to him. I was like, yeah, I just throw it out. <laughs> then he says, then he says this. This was his message back. He goes, okay, cool. I'll email you soon, butt plug. Talk about the hardest email I've ever had to write. I get to attempt to captivate someone who captivates thousands of people every week for a living. You fly a thousand miles for every trip I take to Walmart. I have redrafted my email to you 50 times in 10 days. Yeah. So that should have been a signal right there. I mean, of it, an obsessive thing that I just lost. I, I want. He might be crazy or he might be in love with you. No, I, I mean, they're one and the same. I mean, Chris, you want to hit me? Yeah, I want to throw <laughs> something at you. I really do. Yeah. You're responding after that message. I, I want you to go back to some of the early ones when he probably said I'd want to wear your skin, but you probably weren't fucking listening because you were texting 500 other people at the same time, yeah. and yeah. you don't even realize that this guy's a fucking T. What I see, true blue psychopath. He's TBP. psychopath. TBP, right? He's a psycho. He's a fucking true blue, true blue psychopath. Yeah. I mean, this guy's not well, cuz. Yeah. I mean, he can't be responding just to everybody. Yeah. But you know what? Yeah, You're I fucking mean, wild. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, me and Zach have to start a relationship. Like where I text you and I say, look, we got to keep the door downstairs locked because who knows who Chrissy invited down to the podcast. <laughs> I mean, he... When DeLuca showed up with smoothies, that was wild, yeah, right? And you he turned out to be a good kid, though. He was a good kid. DeLuca's a good kid. We like He's Luca. welcome here. He's welcome. Yeah. But listen, uh, I, you didn't even fucking tell me. I just me. invited him. Yeah, I didn't even like, know. There's a guy here. Yeah. It's like, look, I got I got a fucking... I'm, I'm trying to fucking start a life here. And you're, you 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 want to walk on... You're a tightrope walker in life. Yeah. You need to be put down. So then this kid, so then the message he sent me to, he, he says that he'll need blah, blah, blah. And then when I said to him, look, I, I it's just not going to work. I, I, I'm not interested in the project right now. He said, oh, I see. You think I'm one of these internet knuckle draggers. No problem, man. I feel like a puto. God bless. We're busy too, homie. Fucking drive to 40 plus joints a week trying to get them to do radio flying Bobo in. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Donated time to the donating time to the church. Yeah. Our fishing company is launched too. I get it though. No worries, bro. Hit us up when you need BayRidgeBoys.com. Yeah. Then when I said when I said no, nah, it's not necessary. Yeah. I don't like oh, the you, style. You responded, responded again. I said, I said yeah, it's not necessary. <laughs> you responded, you yeah. fucking idiot. I said it's, it's not necessary. I don't really like your style. He was just like, all right, cool. See you never again. Yeah. Uh, d do you remember? Uh... You just don't value me as a friend or think I'm wise at all, huh? I do. What no, are you, you talking don't. about? I you do. don't. You don't. What do you mean? I just really think, I just don't think you don't. I think it, cause sometimes you give me advice, cuz, and right. I value you, your brain. I think you're a smart kid. Right. Cool kid, smart right. kid. Right. Right? But, right. like, I tell you something. I think I think you don't value that my life experience because I'm no, older than you. because I value life experience. Didn't I tell you a long time ago, yeah. never respond to, always ignore crazy? Yeah. So Cause. this happened before me and you started hanging tough? Has this been years? Two years ago, I think he started. No, we were hanging. But I probably didn't tell you that yet. Well, it's also it was a guy, though. So I feel like it's doesn't different matter. women advice. No, yeah. it doesn't matter. Crazy. You always. By the way, if you're listening. Does anyone... that kid sound psychotic? He's, he's pro... he, That kid is most likely That's listening. That's a TBP right there. Yeah. yeah. That's a TBP. True yeah. blue psychopath. True blue yeah. psychopath. Yeah. Yeah. True blue psych. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean if even fucking Zachy's saying it. Yeah. On a side note, BayRidgeBoys.org will be launching very soon. <laughs> <laughs> BayRidgeBoys.com is taken, right? If you look it up. It Oh, he bought it. Yeah, he bought it. Did the kid buy it? <laughs> he did it's buy actually it. Actually, huh? hilarious story though. Yeah. Look, whoever. I mean, what a psycho. He, look, whoever you are, if you're listening, look. I don't even know what his actual real name is. Yeah. We, look, just you know, come on, cuz we're just we're all just people, cuz. See. Yeah. See. In yeah. your mind, you think Chris is like this fucking, you know, he's a human being. Yeah. I mean, I'm just he a guy. Died. I drive a fucking jeep. Like I'm not. I don't talk to thousands of. Who do you think I am? Yeah. He was. He he was put together by the simulators just yeah. like you. Yeah, it's taken. It's taken, yeah, right? It's yeah. It's taken I mean, by the kid is an idiot. By the true. How much psycho? did he have to pay for it? Do you think? It depends on like domain names. Probably like I would say ten to fifty dollars. 
So does he have to keep paying it like every month? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's like a monthly We'll get it back. So we'll he's just going to stop it at some yeah, point. It right? depends on how dedicated he yeah, is. Yeah, dedicated he is. After he hears this, he's probably never going to stop now. <laughs> but you know what? Thanks to him, we now have a new segment on yeah. the show. Yeah. We have our PPW of the week. Yeah. We got our True Blue Gay of the week, which yeah. we're going to start to do. And yeah. now we have our... True Just blue psychopath, psychopath of the week. week. And uh, we'll just find them every week, cuz. Yeah, I mean, They're yeah. out there. I couldn't believe it. I mean, yeah. You yeah. got, uh, well, you know, I could believe it once you told me that you were a pen pals with this yeah, guy. Yeah, I gave him my email. I mean, I, yeah, I sent him, yeah. When are you going to start writing the serial killers? Uh, yeah, uh, any day now. Yeah. I fucking, I've been trying to get in touch with, uh, with, uh, what's the guy, what's the big, I can't always forget his name from Mindhunters. The guy uh, who's like 6'10". Ed Kemper. Ed Kemper. You know what? You're joking, but I, I, if you told me you were really doing that, I would believe it. Have yeah. you written him a letter? Mm -mm. But you want to, right? I want to send him a. I want to send, get him on Snapchat. Yeah, you do. And yeah. you want to tell him that you're you feel like a trans person. Yeah. Those dudes get in your head bad. Yeah, they get in your head bad. Yeah, there was uh, there's a story of a kid who corresponded. He wrote a book and he corresponded with um, John Wayne Gacy. Wow. He ended up killing himself. The kid. He ended up killing. He himself? He ended up killing himself because John Wayne Gacy. We'll, 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 I'll show it to you after the podcast. He fucking John Wayne Gacy got in this kid's head. That's what they do. These people like those true blue psychopaths. Yeah. Like we're talking not this kid. I mean, this kid just sounds like he's bored, you know? Yeah. He, but I'm talking about those ones who like really want to wear skin and stuff like that. Those dudes are manipulative and smart. And, right. Like they plan things out. Like if you get away with killing like 50 kids. Right. Then, you know, you, you premeditate. You got a big brain. Right. You know, it's just you have no frontal lobe. You got no emotions. Yeah, I no, oh, want my amygdala small. So this guy fucked with this kid's brain. And, he, you know, the kid thought he was thought it was funny to be fucking corresponding with this kid. Yeah. He ended up killing himself. Fucking wild. Yeah, John Wayne Gacy manipulated him, you know? Yo, speaking of killing yourself, you had your engagement party this weekend. I did. Was yeah. it a good party? Fucking great party. It Holy was great. shit. It truly was. One of the best and only engagement parties I've ever been to. Um, I mean, it, yeah, <laughs> it was the best. I mean, it, was like a, it was like a fucking mini wedding. It did feel like a wedding, almost. but it was great. You know what? The happiness and joy surrounding it yeah. was fantastic. The truth of it all mm -hmm. is, it's not going to last more than ten years. Even though you guys are a great couple, it's just statistically, <laughs> it's over. That's why this episode is about the history of divorce. Divorce, yeah, because. You know, we truth, did marriage last. It's gonna, it's not gonna last, um, because you know, it's just not. I mean, I, I, maybe it will. Would you too? You, I, I really believe, like, you, I really want to believe in true love, um, in TBL, true blue love. Um, I want to believe in it. Um, and if anybody has it, it's it's you and your and your lovely fiance. But statistically, this is a bad move, cause well, it's still hovering around fifty fifty chance. Well, would the you take that? The yeah. statistics in America are fifty fifty. We are actually third in the world in divorce, though. Yeah, the, tell them the first two, which is uh, the Maldives, which and is like who even knows where that fucking is. Fucking Belarus. Belarus who, is weird. That's a weird one. Well, the yeah. Maldives is weird too. The Maldives is like the it's like by Greece, right? Isn't the Maldives islands or is that that's or is Malta. That African? That's Malta. Where are the Maldives? Maldives, a tropical nation in the Indian Ocean, composed of twenty six ring shaped atolls. There you that's go. Huh. So it's I islands. Don't know why is islands? Maldives sounds like a yeah a tropical nation yeah yeah, yeah. So? I mean and you know what like people there's a lot of debate on like when it started happening but a lot of people think that divorce started happening when feminism started rising they think that's one and the same that's corresponded because the truth is and I'm not saying feminism is a bad thing but it's it's just it does make sense when you used to be able to get married used to marry men and women would marry each other especially a woman would marry because they had no rights and they could do nothing and they needed to marry a man to have them pay for shit to have a place to raise their children because they weren't allowed to do anything then when you gain independence as you know this feminist movement which is actually great i mean I have a daughter why why am i marrying you for love what yeah. the fuck we don't even know what love is our yeah. sense of love has been so warped by porn What's the point of marrying someone anymore? Yeah. You used to marry people, you know, a, a thousand years ago because you just knew them because you were lived in a village and you couldn't really go anywhere because yeah. you had no, you didn't even fuck, the wheel wasn't even invented yet. Yeah. So what could you do? You only knew a few people, so you figured I'll marry one. It was probably your fucking cousin. Yeah. And it's like you just did it for like, now it's like, what? what's the point? Well, we, d we discussed that last episode. You know, what marriage is all about. Yeah. Uh, people married for all types of reasons. So it's the same thing of divorce. Unite families, just to reiterate, um, to mostly to unite families. Right. And, you know, I'm sure uh, nature plays a big role in that. It's yeah. nature. The, the other facet to why people did it is just nature. It's like 
a baby is helpless as right. a human for a long time, and right. you just need the fucking guy to stick around. Yeah. You need the guy to fucking stick around. Yo, by the way, you, great recommendation by Giannis to read the book Sapiens. I've been reading fucking Sapiens. It's fucking wild. I always wondered why, why like, a human baby, why it's, like, so defenseless, but, like, a giraffe can come out and already be running at, like, top speed. And it's because when we were, like, you know, morphing into what we are now— the longer we used to our births used to be like 18 months it used to be a lot longer it wasn't always nine months and but the longer we would develop in utero because we had uh the women had very small uh birthing hips as compared to other animals you had like a 90 percent chance of dying at childbirth so we started to die off as a population a little bit like 1.5 million years ago but then when we started to when premature babies would come out and still be, you know, they'd be way underdeveloped, but the woman would survive, the baby would survive, and they were nursed back to health. Through evolution, our our in utero gestation period got smaller and smaller and smaller. So the catch-22 is we survive birth, birth now a lot better than other animals, but we're defenseless as babies for a long time. Yeah. It's fucking wild. And how many million years ago did that start happening? That was 1.5 million. Two wow. million years ago, the first humans walked on the earth, or homo sapiens, because there's a... Cause, us says now, you know, from what the book said. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. True blue fart. fart. <laughs> Stinky. Who's that? Did somebody just ring the bell? Was calling the phone? Somebody's this, calling the phone. It's definitely the fucking, it's definitely the Who's kid phone? from Snapchat. The, the studio phone. Should we answer yeah, it? Yeah, answer it. Who is answer it? it. Okay. Yeah. Hello? Is it the guy? Put it into the thing. It is important that I get a hold of Crystal Coley. If you are Crystal Colby, press one. Crystal Colby. You need to put this call on hold to get. I think it's a telemarker, oh, or it could be the dude trying to get the Chris. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Or you could say that the guy's just a really big fan of yours, and he's disappointed that you're not available. You know, to fly to Chicago to, fly to, to make Chicago. music. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even a musician. Look at my fucking Instagram. I can't sing or yeah. dance. Yeah. Well, now you know what you know. You gotta now. Be I know a it's more like you, you can't respond to everyone. You can't respond to. There's everyone. a lot of mentally sick people out there. Yeah, this guy sounds. He may like... not be mental though. Does he? He may not be mental. The kid. Uh, it's hard yeah, to he's, tell. he's mental. He's yeah, I think there's something. Something. He seems. Yeah, it seems like he's a little. He's putting. It seems like he's very invested in this imaginary friendship that he has with you. Yeah, I mean, he would Snapchat me every single day. Yeah. Every day he snaps me. Yeah. So. And I check him every day. Yeah. Yeah. So not so cute. Mm -hmm. Not so cute. So he would see that it was seen that you, yes. but you just didn't answer. That probably drove him even crazier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have. Yeah. Well, now I mean, well, you can't block him. No, you need a divorce from this guy. I need a divorce. This would be you need a restraining order and a divorce from this guy. Cause I'm watching the show, even though it's been out, it's been done for a while. But on Netflix, I'm watching the Tudors. About how King how much of a coincidence is that that you're watching Tudors, and we are doing the history of divorce right now because the most famous divorce and where the Western world traces. It's the word divorce. Right, because it used to be just called annulment. Annulment. And that in ancient uh, Greece, Rome, and Egypt, yeah. they were considered annulments. Right. They considered annulments. So what that means is like um, you you go to the Pope or whatever religious institution is in place um, post-Christianity, which is, uh, you know, fucking Pope or fucking priest or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. Religion's and you always go, a bit of a problem. Hey, this was, yeah, this is, um, we shouldn't have got married in the first place because we found out that he uh, he was banging my sister or something, or we're too close, or we're too close. Or if a woman related. wasn't a virgin. Or if she wasn't a virgin, you get an annulment. Right. So, I mean, like, that, it makes it like the, the, the wedding never happened. Like it never happened. Like it's just, It was unlawful. It was an unlawful, unlawful. marriage. So it didn't what count. an annulment was. And the, the reason why King Henry VIII's annulment to Catherine of Aragon. He wasn't even seeking a divorce. He was seeking an annulment. He was seeking an annulment because yeah. basically the, the, what happened was is he fell in love with Anna Boleyn. Anna Boleyn was, you know. Smoke show. Smoke show. And they still say, like, people still say she's the original homewrecker. Yeah. Because she got in there, ruined Henry VIII and Catherine of Aragon, who was the uh, royal blood of Spain. Yeah. Um, which is so, you know, you were uniting, uniting England and Spain. So that's a big move. That's why people would get that, you know, royal couples would marry, countries would marry. That's what it was. Basically. Um, and the big problem was is that. They were trying to have a son. King Henry VIII wanted a son. Nobody could give him a son. Catherine of Aragon couldn't give him a son. And he was like, oh, it's her fault. But, of course, you know, we know now that it was fucking – it's a guy. Guy determines the sex. But anyway, back in the day, they didn't know. People were – not that people were stupid back then, but, I mean – Yes, they were. They was just – well, it's just like, yeah, comparatively now, like very stupid. But it's like – Comparatively now. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was an oxymoronic moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. trying to say how smart we are now, but you said the sentence wrong. Yeah. Comparatively now. Yeah. Compared yeah. to now. Compared to now. Yeah. Or comparatively to now. Comparatively to now. <laughs> so, so the, you know, I guess like, you know, they just didn't have as much knowledge. They didn't have computers. That's yeah. pretty much what it was. We have computers. So didn't we have, have the Snapchat. Answers. Yeah. Didn't have Snapchat. So he wanted to divorce her and all, get the annulment to her because he was in love with Anne of Boleyn. And Anne of Boleyn said, I'm going to give you a son. I promise you'll give you a son. So Plus he must have been real good, though. Good boss. So he wanted to marry her. So legally, in the eyes of the church, because everything was about the Catholic Church back then. King Henry was a big time Catholic. He was like, I want to marry, get the annulment to Catherine of Aragon because he, his whole claim, he, Catherine of Aragon was at first married to King Henry's brother. And then King Henry's brother died mm -hmm. like a week into the marriage. And she said they never had sex, mm -hmm. which I think was true. But she, he was like, How he, he believed it at first. But then he was like, no, you weren't a virgin. You're a fucking whore, blah, 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 blah. How would she be married to the guy and not, she at least gave him a blow. She had to at least give him a handy. She gave him at least a handy. I don't know. But uh, well, if they're married, you don't think he's going to he's gonna go dipping in there? He didn't throw it in? He threw it in. I mean, maybe he did. Why uh, wouldn't he? Unless he was a triple guy. Tra or, or more, uh, D, see, my brain goes slow on him. D-L-G. Down low gay. Down low gay. He could have been, there was a lot. By the way, when you watch the show, The Tudors, a lot of down low gays. A lot of down low gays. In King Henry's yeah, court. Yeah. A lot of down low gays. <laughs> um, so he wanted the marriage annulled for that reason because he wanted his, his heir, he wanted his son, who he thought he was going to have with Anna Boleyn, to be the rightful king. Mm -hmm. And if he was still married to Catherine of Aragon, then even if he fucking pump, I mean, King Henry, they pump kids into a lot of different girls. I mean, that's everybody had a mistress, but those kids were illegitimate and yeah. you would pay for them, yeah. but they could never be the king. They yeah. were never in a line. Just sort of like NBA kids now. Yeah, it's like you're yeah. not, yeah, you're not, if you're not with the main one, yeah. it's, I'm sorry, it's like, you're here on this earth, and like Daddy will provide for you, but you're not going to get anything. Like I'm not taking you to Disneyland. Right. There's just a check that comes, and your mom says it's from Sean Kemp. You know. Yeah. But you like, never knew him. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I mean, like you know, you're going to get a lot of cool shit, which yeah. is dope, but like you're not going to the games. You might get a signed jersey from Sean Kemp, but he's in Seattle. You're in North Carolina. It's just not going to happen. It happened in '92. Yeah. It's just it's not your fault, kid. Yeah. It's really not your fault. No. But just yeah. I mean, you know, Larry Johnson's your pops, and there's another 17 of you all throughout the country. Trip. Yeah, it's like it, you know, it's like you know, seek counsel, go to therapy, think about it. Yeah. But you know, I get it. If like you know, like you weren't supposed to be here anyway, so if you want to fucking end it, just end it. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> no, no. I mean, you see why he I'm needs to get put down. Even Zach joke. understands why he needs to get put down. I'm kidding. That was I mean, a joke. You don't know. You don't know boundaries. Yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah, you you're a, you're a kid who burned your head on the stove a few times, right? Because yeah. you just didn't believe when your mother said it was hot. I'm a fucking re re. You're a fucking re re. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just kidding around. But but yeah, so. So that was like, and so that divorce, he finally, so what happened was back then is King Henry VIII got divorced. Actually, the eyes of the Catholic Church never agreed to his divorce. Now, who's this, Pope Clement that he was Pope asking? Fucking, yeah, Roberto Clement. Now, why the fuck didn't Pope Clement just give in and do it? Because Henry VIII was such a defender of the Catholic Church. Because Pope Clement was a man of God and was like, I know everybody. You know what Pope Clement actually he must have said? been scared of Catherine you, too. You know what Pope Clement actually said? Mm. He said, you know what you guys should do mm. to like King Henry's court and to like his other court. He said, you know what we should do? Somebody go into England right now and kill Anne of Boleyn because he's just obsessed with young puss and needs to be married to Catherine Varagon and she's a homewrecker. So why doesn't somebody just fucking put one in Anne of Boleyn? Why doesn't somebody do that? That's what he said, and they just wouldn't do it. He because he's a man of God. Yeah. Cause, well, no, because Boleyn's family was very powerful, so yeah. they were protecting her. Cause, cause, yeah, but I mean, I'm just making fun. The guy's a fucking pope. He's supposed to be a man of God. He's yeah. saying, why don't you go kill this whore? Seriously. I mean, Jesus. Well, I mean, they're all God. But, like, that's the thing. If you were a whore back then, you were godless. That's where the godless whore yeah. comes from that time. Because yeah. they didn't think of you as any— If you had no affiliation to God, just like if you were Muslim, they would just kill you, and they, they're not going to hell for that. Right. They could burn you. In, like, that's why when, when they would, like— a po Popes would actually— execute people because they would say you have no god and then they throw you into a yo you know what one of the one of the uh the most common ways to die uh like if they were gonna by execution back in king henry's times they would throw slowly dip you with a contraption into a jar of boiling water and then you would come up and your you would your skin would be melted off your body that's what i'm gonna do to you i'm not gonna take you out to poughkeepsie <laughs> i'm gonna dip you in and i don't think if it's gonna work i think you're gonna come up and go triple guy yeah, yeah with half my face melted off yeah
kill. I'm gonna no. You're gonna raise me up. I'm gonna come and I'm gonna suck my dick between my legs like <laughs> Buffalo Bill. I come up like yeah, hanging upside down. Yeah, I, pull the wall for I'm, like, I'm gonna be like I have been reborn. I'm gonna show you my fucking trans fucking pussy. Yeah, yeah. Cause what would you do if I pulled down my pants right now and I was already post up? I, I, would that be fucking wild? That would be wild. And part of you wants to do it just out of you're a curious kid. I just want to do it for the goof. You want to do? It for I would the cut goof. my dick off and get a post for the for one <laughs> laugh from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to get put down quick. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So and that divorce happened. King Henry like. So what happened was is is is, is King Henry uh he couldn't get he couldn't get the divorce in the eyes of the Catholic Church. So the Catholic Church excommunicated him. You know, threw him out of the Catholic religion. And then, because he was the king of England, he was like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm starting a new religion. It's called the fucking English religion. And he was like, I'm now, not, now, not only am I the king of England, but I'm also the king of the Church of England. And he, so the Church of England, which still survives today, is just King Henry VIII's fucking new rules. He's like, so now, guess what? I don't give a fuck. I'm not a Catholic anymore anyway. I'm marrying Queen, uh, marrying Anne of Boleyn, Queen Anne, and she's going to give me a son. What happened? Gave him two more daughters and then one son who died at birth, so he cut her fucking head off. <laughs> and then he married another Anne. And then he, uh, he married... Yeah, there's some like nursery rhyme. Anne of Cleves. Yeah, somebody gave him a son, and what? then he and then he left her too. Yeah, I mean, cut everybody's fucking head off. Yeah, he, but he never actually got divorced. That's the thing. Everyone thinks he got divorced. He never actually got divorced. Wait, it says. Yeah, I read that he got divorced from Anne of Cleves. No, but it was all like. Oh, really? Yeah. They said that I thought the King act of annulment in and of itself was the thing that caused oh. uh, as for the years. Of, uh, I mean, we don't fucking fact check. Yeah. Did he ever get a male heir? But what? but yeah, it says he tried to divorce, but Queen Catherine outright refused to give Henry his annulment and fought every accusation he made. Of course, the annulment could still be granted even if the queen did not consent. However, the Pope during this time was under the control of the Holy Roman Emperor, who happened to be Catherine's nephew. Therefore, oh, so that's what happened. Oh, shit, sorry. The Pope during that time was under the control of the Holy Roman Roman Emperor. Right. And the Holy Roman Emperor... Um, was Catherine's nephew, so that's oh. why that's why he didn't give it. But was the Holy Roman Emperor? So the Holy Roman Emperor was higher than the Pope. Yeah, was he a military leader, or he was he just was a like Cath- a, he was like a fucking uh, yeah, he was like a king, a king of the Holy Roman Empire. So the Holy Roman Empire, I don't know if we know the answer to this, because when I'm watching the Tudors, I'm confused too. King Henry the Eighth was the king of England. But he still had to answer to the Holy Roman Empire because that time the Roman Empire, like Italy, was still in charge of England. Uh, I don't think it was Italy. I don't think they called. Did they call it Italy at that point yet? Like yeah. the Holy Roman Empire, though. Yeah, they called were the Italy. Romans. So the Romans were still in charge in the 1500s? Holy Roman Empire. Yeah, it was the, the the it wasn't the the Roman Empire from antiquity. This is the post post Jesus second. This is Roman second round. So this Rome, is round Rome two. took over the world twice. Twice. Yeah, yeah, twice. So King Henry VIII did not rule the world; he was just ruled England. That's right. Yeah. See, I'm, 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 I'm a little confused with it. But to be honest with you, I'm watching the Tudors, and I'm also texting 35 people, reading Sapiens, yeah. clipping my toes, and fucking eating broccoli, and all... Snapchatting with yeah, true blue psychopaths. Yeah, and and just fucking tucking my dick back and trying to see how big of a fucking gap I need. For how does it look when you do that? You know, it looks it feels good. Yeah. You know, sometimes I squeeze my nuts too hard, but what are you gonna do? But, you know, there was many, many European royal divorces slash annulments before 1533. There was, uh, so Henry VIII gets gets the credit because it was so famous. Okay. And because, like you said, um, him declaring himself the head of the uh, Church of England and breaking off right. from the Pope um, and closing all the churches there, whatever. Um, but there was many before him. 1152, Louis the Seventh of France and Eleanor of Aquitaine. 1190, Philip II, Augustus of France. French, they were, you know, because they fucking fuck them. Che- French fuck around a lot. They cheat a lot. Yeah, and, but, I mean, it's it's not really cheating in France. It's just like... It's just being French. Yeah, they just believe, like, sex is like, you know, it's like a it's like a need, like, eating and drinking. Like, if you and fall in right. love with someone, then that's grounds for divorce. But if you just have sex with... Like, actually, even Anna Boleyn, back in that time, like, it was understood that he's the King Henry VIII. He's going to want to have sex with other women, especially while she's pregnant and she can't really fuck. Mm. So... He, he he could have a mistress, but she, because Anna Boleyn was a cunning bitch, she wanted to pick his mistress. Mm-hmm. So she was like, you can have, because she could control bitches. Mm-hmm. But she understood, but it was understood back then that men just need to have sex. Yeah. Now we live in, it's interesting, like, it's almost more conservative now than it was back then in some ways. In that weird which way. Which is wild. Yeah. 
And then we had uh, John the First of England and Isabella of Gloucester. Gloucester. Gloucester, like fucking Gloucester from uh, Gloucester. That's like a, that's like a town in in Boston. Is it in Scotland? Gloucester. Gloucester. Eleven ninety nine, and then eleven ninety nine. Also, Constance. Twelve sixteen. Henry the First. Twelve twenty nine. James the First of Aragon and Eleanor. It happened all the time. It happened amongst all these fucking elites. It's always the elites. 1254, Margaret and Raymond of Toulouse. 1293, Margaret de Clare and Edmund, Earl of Cornwall. Do these places even exist anymore? What does it mean to be an earl? I don't, I don't know. Do they even have it anymore? You know what it just means? Basically means you're just a big landowner and you Do got a lot of Do they still have serfs. earls and dukes, Zach? No, he was the earl. Uh, the Earl of Cornwall. Can you look up what, the, who, what, what does that mean, the Earl of Cornwall? The Earl of Cornwall? Or the Earl of Lincoln. Thomas, the Earl of Lincoln, in 1318 got a divorce or an annulment, whatever. Elizabeth of Lancaster and John Hastings. Anne of York and Henry Holland in 1472. Louis the Seventh of France and Joan of France. And then uh, Margaret Tudor. Margaret Tudor, cuz. And Archibald Douglas in 1527. Margaret Tudor. 1527. Is that the Tudors? Might be. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So an earl was kind of a title like uh, a duke, but then a duke superseded it, and it's all to do with your heirs and who gets what. And... Fucking landowning shit. Yeah, yeah like I see. what goes where. See, you go to history class, and it just boils down to fucking landowning and money, and certain people and had land and money, and then certain people were working for those people, and they were peasants, and they kept those modes of control because they were smarter. Because it's all the same now. More educated. It's just different names, yeah. different things. It's still the gap's the same. We don't die from the same diseases, but we still die. Like, who knows, bro? 200 years from now, like dying of cancer at 75, 80 years old, which would be like, that's a great life. People might be saying, "Could you ma do you remember when people used to die, period? Yeah. Like, you know, what about when we fucking merge with, with you know, artificial intelligence? Like, people are going to be like, can you believe people used to not be able to be here forever? I mean, it's different now that you can work your way up a, a lot easier easier but make no mistake me and you have the careers that we have are even doing this podcast because we're trying to get more money right yeah and we're trying to have careers yeah right zach included yeah right but there's some people who are just born into money who if they would be doing this they'd be doing this strictly to pass time they just never yeah. need money yeah and those are the elites people and that would be equivalent to an earl or a duke in in uh that's like in Anderson history. Cooper. Like, he's one of the Vanderbilts. Like, yeah. he doesn't need to be going. He just does shit to do it. He just doesn't. He doesn't it. need anything. He doesn't need to do anything. No, yeah. he's got. He's just from a royal elite family. I give him credit, though. Guy, I love, work, oh, guy I'm, works I'm, hard. I'm a, I'm a, that's what. You know, for true Anderson blue Cooper, gay. That, true, absolutely true blue gay. Top shelf gay. If he goes into, like, war-torn countries to, like, report, like, out of the goodness of his heart. Like, and or, like, because he really wants to, like, help. And he doesn't have to do any of that shit. He's a fucking trillionaire. Yeah, I didn't even know he was a... Uh... What is he? Uh, Vanderbilt. He's a Vanderbilt. I didn't even know that. Yeah, he's, isn't he Gloria Vanderbilt's son? I don't I, even know I who Gloria it. Vanderbilt yeah. is. Well, we got we got uh, Zachy yeah. on the case right now, but I believe you're right. I believe you are right. Yeah, cause I mean, so yeah. Look, divorce been happening since day one. It is on the rise. It, you know, people were third in the world for divorce. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know countries that don't get divorced. I mean, I just don't know, cause I mean. You mean wh which country would be the least? The least, li yeah, I don't know who who gets divorced the least. You know, I would get if I had to guess, maybe it's fucking Chinese. Do the Chinese get divorced? I would have to. They yeah. probably just kill their wives. I know uh, Orthodox Jews is tough to get a divorce. You can't, right? Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Uh, it's like almost illegal or something. So I don't know, but that's not a country. Yeah, I mean, who gets the lowest official rate is in Chile with three percent. That's fucking wild. Wow. They're Catholic too, aren't they? Yeah, I th Chile's I'm a Catholic sure. country. Very religious place, huh? Interesting. 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 Interesante. Interesting. How about the gay? How about the gay marriage divorce rate? What's I think that that's low too. I would I would guess gay marriage divorce is low. No, I would say I would say the women is low, lesbians is low, uh, gay guys dudes. Guys don't like to be tied down. Guys just do not like to be tied down. We're about to find out. Zach is Googling the gay divorce rate. The true blue divorce rate. What is it? <laughs> a TBD. I bet you it's 100%. 97%. It's got to be. I'm not finding any numbers. I'm seeing that it's higher than people would think. Let's see. Because yeah. I think it gets counted in with the normal divorce rate. I'm not sure if there's like a... Separate gay marriage divorce rate. Uh, well, you just got to go to some of the right-wing sites that Chrissy has bookmarked. 
Yeah. And he'll tell you what the divorce rate is. Yeah, go ahead. Where You got InfoWars bookmarked on your phone? No. Breitbart? Breitbart or, bo- or anything? I don't really know anything about anything, like alt-right stuff. Like, even, like, what's going on in the news right now. Like, with, to be honest with you, like, any time, like, I'll put on, like, CNN or even, like, Fox News or anything, it's always, like, Trump Comey or, like, Trump Investigations, Robert Mueller. Like, I don't, I just don't watch it. I just put on Sports Center or I watch fucking Trolls. On Netflix, I just don't care anymore. It's is that bad? To, no, it's a good time to tune out. I just don't care because I just, it's annoying. Syria could be the end of everything. You think? Do you really feel that, Giannis? It you could think be. that we're going down the path now? It could be, man. There's just it seems like there's a lot of uh, powerful interest there, and usually that's how. If you look back at World War One and World War Two, it happens like that, where the proxy wars become actual wars. At some point, that's going to happen. Us in Russia and China, we've all been fucking around with these proxy wars for a long time in Korea, yeah. uh, you know, in fucking Afghanistan, right. all over the place, right. even including Cold War stuff like Cuba. Eventually, it's going to get fucking real, you know? Right. It's going to get fucking real. We're going right. to shoot. It's, and it's usually going to probably be some accidental shit where we bomb some Russian outposts. We didn't know they were there. And, you know. and then we kill actual Russian soldiers, and yeah. then it's a problem. Yeah, which I think already happened once. Uh, in Syria by accident. And it wasn't Russian soldiers, Ru- Russian mercenaries or um, yeah, cause that's gonna contractors. Be I think that happened already. So, But anyway, um, Henry's divorce or attempt uh, to divorce, the battle be- for that happened in 1527. So it's really only been, what, a couple centuries, you know, where in the Western world, divorce became, you know, uh, part of the public consciousness and it was there was the, the word divorce was uh was created you know Catherine of Aragon and then um Henry broke with Rome in 1533 and declared himself the head of the new church that happened in 1533 1533 so well you know not that long ago not that fucking long ago so i found some numbers on these uh gay marriages Mm-hmm. It's kind of by area. Uh, in the United States, there's not like a huge amount of numbers because it actually is like kind of new. If you actually look back at the time, I'm getting a common answer of two to five percent. But in the United Kingdom, it's found that it's up to seventy eight percent, and lesbians are two and a half times more likely to divorce than gay male couples. Wow, wow, yeah, because women can be really wow. naggy, and when you get two of them in there, they they cross in streams. Crossing yeah. streams of nagginess. It's like Ghostbusters. Yeah. You're just crossing streams. Interesting. I That's mean, I'm being, I'm being sexist right now, but... Yeah, and... I mean, the numbers don't lie. 78%? 78%? Up, up to 78%. In England? Yeah, in the UK. And the United States, you said 2%? The, it's a, I'm finding a bunch of different answers, but the yeah. common ground I'm finding is 2% to 5%. That's pretty low. Yeah. Fucking gays figured it out. Gays figured it out. But, yo... Here's the first, the actual, when the when the divorce was 1552. That was the first. Of, Henry's marriage to Anne led to precise, precisely one divorce in 1552. That's what I said. Yeah, that's fucking wild. Oh, there you go. Another fart. <laughs> Three. <laughs> but, yo, the term was not even used again after 1552. Yeah, until 1671. 1670. Close. Close. Wow. Yeah, wow. See? Yeah, even uh, while Protestant Europe was beginning to embrace that idea that there could indeed be justifiable reasons to uh, for ending a marriage, England actually made a fucking turn backwards. Um, and um, not only did uh, Henry the the Eighth's new church come out against divorce, but it also uh, far outstripped Catholic Europe in the restrictions on the granting of annulment. So they went backwards. They they were granted divorces and then they went fucking full backwards. Interesting. Yeah. The Church of England's <sighs> resistance to divorce. That's pretty ironic that the Church of England was founded in divorce because of divorce. Yeah. And then they went back uh, strongly against it. Yeah. The, the resistance to divorce was so strong that uh, the only wrote route to a divorce actually um, became uh, uh, had to go through an act of parliament. So uh, a law that was voted through both houses of parliament. So it became pretty fucking hard to get a divorce. What is the Church of England today? Is it still just the Church of England? Yeah. Is that still the name of it? Yeah. When a divorce law yeah, was finally... Then there was a divorce law uh, enacted in 1857. 
and that's when the floodgates opened. Fucking people were like, I'm done. But I guess before there, they just kind of white, white knuckled through. Yeah. The number of divorces in English history stood only at a mere 324, though. So only 324 people got divorced. All right, guys. Um, to that point. Yeah. Only four of the 324 cases were brought by women. Guys, it was well, all dudes it was asking all dudes. for divorces. Well, because, you know, it was sick, too. Back in the day, if you got divorced... If you got divorced, if the woman, even if, you know, was agreed to, the woman still had to act like the guy was her husband. So he could go fuck other bitches and be married. But she, if she found out, they found out she was with other dudes, they'd fucking kill her. It was a real patriarchal system, no question, right? Yeah, I mean, that's a, well, those are good old days, no? <laughs> Hold on. Here comes another one. Oh. Um, your farts sound like yeah. there's something wrong with your... The ba- that was a fart where it. I have such a weird-shaped asshole that sometimes I have. A, I rip a fart so hard that it, it blows a breeze on the back of my testicle. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like there's something wrong with your fucking asshole. Yeah, maybe it's warts? Yeah. The 1857 Matrimonial Causes Act allowed ordinary people to divorce. So that's when it started, yeah. really. Because so it didn't start. It did, even though it traces back to 1527 with fucking Henry VIII, it didn't, a common person could not get a divorce until 1857. Which is wild. So people were just probably white-knuckling it, cheating, but they just, like you said, they continue to act well, like they man and woman. they would separate, but they just wouldn't get divorced. They just couldn't they get divorced. Yeah. Well, because... It was got, like an illegal abortion. You couldn't officially get it done, but you'd do it in a back alley. You know what? I got good news for you, because you're not going to be one of the... 324 divorced people because what's going to happen for you is you're you're going to wedding's going to be great you're going to have children and then what's what's gonna, the point of me getting divorced what's the point well i'm telling you what's going to happen your wife except freedom your wife yeah but you don't want that your wife is going to one day you know come home and you're going to have you're going to be masturbating with stockings on and the Maurice wig <laughs> and you're going to be watching you know transgender porn Kind of, you know, and your baby's going to be like sleeping and, you know, like coughing for air and you're so locked in. And what she's going to say, she's going to kind of kind of going to all hit her. She's going to say, you know, I thought I married a man, but I, I married a, I married a, a, a woman trapped inside what used to be a man's body. A woman that used to be trapped inside a man's body. God, God messed up. That's not true. That's right. So she's going to accept that. And being the good hearted person that she is, she's going to say, for the sake of our child, I'm not going to get a divorce. But I want you to express who you really are, and what's going to happen is, is she is you're she's going to marry like an actual real man, and you're just going to be like the third wheel woman of the relationship. You're going to be like the it's you're actually you know what's going to be great for mm-hmm. you. You know what's actually really going to happen. I think you're going to get what you've always wanted mm-hmm. is you truly will become mm-hmm. a ac- woman. No, a woman, <laughs> but you'll be in a situation. Where you are, where you started as a man, mm. and you and then you, you you started as the father role, but you're gonna then take on the mother role, and you're gonna finally morph into an actual hyena, and your su- you are going to be the human embodiment of a fucking pseudo penis, yes. and that's what's gonna happen. Yes. And Zach's shaking his head because we know we kind of just hit yes. it, so don't worry about divorce. You didn't marry the kind of woman who's gonna divorce you. You married the kind of woman who's gonna say, "I accept you for the actual woman that you are, and you'll be my best friend, and we'll name our son." And we'll name our son, you know, Victor or so, whatever the fuck Greek name. You I just, name yeah, son. I really don't know who I am deep down. Yeah. This, I tell you, when I'm trying to find like what this feels thing. the best. Yep. This right here feels the best. You know how you always. You know Does you this always, sound natural to you? You know how you always joke with me and yes. you say there's a sense of calmness yes. that happens when I eat a black and white cookie. Yeah. There's a sense of calmness I see. When you talk, I could just be like this. Yeah. When you talk like a millennial, when you talk like a millennial girl. Yeah. It just, yeah. That's why they're probably so free, the millennials. Yeah. They don't have any stress. And like, you could be a straight guy and be like, this is how I talk. Yeah. Let's go. Where are we going tonight? Yeah. Fucking cool. We're getting Thai food. So cool. Well, we had Thai yesterday. Let's go get Korean barbecue. Yeah. That's what I call the rich person trail off when they're like too tired to just like, Finish the word. You know, have you ever heard that? Yeah. They just kind of like trail off. Like, like it, California, do you want some more avocado? Just like, yeah. They never had to like put any effort into anything their whole life. Because it was just like legit Honda to me. So it's like, that guy is such an oppressive, like, right wing at Trump's partner. Because, you know, we got to do. What? We have to read our Patreon number. Are we at the end of the episode already? Yeah. Oh, my God. That flew by. That was the hardest work I've ever done. Okay. And we really worked hard for that. Thank you so much for listening. Like, we totally talked about King Henry VIII. Yeah. Um, okay. So, 
first up, thank you for the new Patreon members who have joined. If you guys liked our pod, you know, you guys like our podcast. Thank you for listening on iTunes or wherever you guys are listening. Um, if you want to become part of our channel and want to become part of our community, go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Uh, join our community, $1, $5, whatever you got. Um, and there's a lot of prize. Uh, there's a lot of uh, bonuses. They're get- prizes. You can think of them as prizes. Yeah, I like to say prizes. Yeah, pri- I like prizes is fun. I'm gonna start when I pitch it. I'm gonna call them prizes. And we and so our community is called the Matriarch because we're hyenas and it's a matriarchal society. <laughs> so the new members of the Matriarch are. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna, He's first on the list, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put him last. Okay. Okay. So first off, we got Jennifer Ann. Thank you. Two first names. Ooh, maybe maybe related to uh, Amber Lynn. Ann. Anne Amber. Bolin, Ann. Jennifer Close. Ann. Ann. King Henry the Eighth would be head you. Brad Seaman. Yo, fucking Brad good Seaman. Name, Brad Seaman. Yeah, Yo, he was fucking, in our live chat today. Yeah. Mike Domini. Yo, what up, Mike Mikey Domini? D. How you doing? Susan Taylor. Susan. Susan. Evan Scott. Oh, that's a real wasp name. Uh, Evan, uh, Scott. Evan Scott. He's got a mustache. He owns yeah, the yeah, color yeah, red, his yeah. family. Evan Scott. He's a fucking good kid. And then here's one of yours. Yeah. Adis Intezempelis. Adis de canis posicere. Is el malaka. Yes. This next guy's named Mutated Axe Wound. Mutated Axe Wound. Yep. Yeah, that's a guy you're going to Snapchat with for the next couple months. Yep. Yep. Look, I, didn't, I couldn't believe it. He seemed like a normal guy. Yeah, and then he just showed me pictures of victims yeah, in his Yeah, and then he started sending me Snapchats of his open asshole <laughs> with a picture of Chris in there. Yeah, and I was like, ah, it's whatever. It's oh, weird, whatever, dude. Yeah, yo, here's my phone number. Text me when you're in town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, we record uh, in this address at this time. Come on down. Come bring on us down. smoothies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Geary. Michael Geary. What up, cuz? Ricky Regalado. Yo, Ricky's a good name. Ricky. Blair Burke. Another Blair. wasp. Blair's definitely a wasp, eh? Bobby Boucher. Yo, Bobby Boucher. Fuck him. You, you got some fucking spaghetti. Sean, Shawnee McGinnis. Shawnee, how you doing? Sean, how are so you? So your parents here, they became cops and you're a cop. Mark you're Cicero. Coppers. Mark Cicero. Yo, Mark Cicero. Roman kid. Hey, and then Mark, Mike... Mark, we got Mark Cicero, and then we got Mikey Caruso. Yo, Mikey Caruso, how you doing? You a detective in the 7'3", the 7'4", the 7'5", or the 7'6". Then we got Goran Sifajinovic, fucking Goran, Goran from today. Yeah, Goran. Goran's a good kid. And then last but not least, I wanted to end on a fucking guy yeah. who we told him on Facebook Live today that he was this week's Pseudo Penis of the Week. PPW. PPW for his work that he's been doing, guys. Hold on. And- Hyena cackles. <laughs> He's been the one who every time we post um, a meme of our faces on someone else's body, it's usually either one one guy, his name is Jeff Venicia, who we've shouted out before, but the guy who's really been doing it, and Jeff's are great, but the guy who's really been doing it, like stepping up above and beyond and giving us one, sometimes two a day, mm. let's clap it up, pseudo penis of the week. Andrew Agos. Andrew, thank you, Andrew. It. Thank you for your service, Andrew Agos. You can see all of the memes he creates, all the Photoshop photos of me and Chris in the Bay Ridge Boys group on Facebook. We really appreciate all your work. You are the PPW Pseudo Penis of the Week. Thank you guys so much for all your support and for listening. Go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Be a part of our community. And as I say at the end of every episode, if you guys know a baker or you know anyone <laughs> who's into cake designs, if they could design and bake us a cake in the shape of a hyena pseudo penis, we would be forever grateful and you would be the honorary Pseudo Penis of the Week PPW for five weeks in a row. Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. What are they supposed to do with this pseudo penis? Are they sending it to us or they're just taking a picture and showing us? And then they're going to eat the. Who's going to fucking present a cake of a pseudo penis to somebody to well, eat? What are they supposed the to York, do with it? If you live in the New York area, if you live in the New York area, and don't you, give our address well, out. I won't over give the away on public, but you can message us. You can brb.patreon at gmail.com. Send us an email or write in the community board that you can do it. And then we'll find a way to. You message us or we'll find a way to message you and we'll get. And you'll be able to present the pseudo penis cake to us here in the studio, and we'll eat it. And even though the owner of the studio, Robert Kelly, will kill someone, I mean, he almost killed Giannis for eating a piece of shawarma, <laughs> we will defy all the rules and we'll eat the cake live on the air in the studio. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. We love you. Bye. Bye. Cute. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.